there is a case when you need again to connect with your financial advisor and to check, do you have enough finances to do it? Maybe you need to wait. Maybe you need to reconsider something in your plans. So regardless that we have, we think that, you know, with life, we already have financial education and we should have, but we cannot know all the rules and rules are changing. Yeah, I agree. And it's always good to have somebody else sort of give your, your thought process a, a once over sort of thing and point out some flaws. Like I'm not trying to stop people from relocating. I'm trying to help people relocate, but there are ups and downs and there are sort of some things to consider long-term and short-term in terms of uh, financial planning and, and savings. Yeah, and different that. strategy, different strategy. Yeah. Let's help our Canadians not to make mistakes, avoid mistakes. Uh, and I will help them to land in the best kind of matching place for their circumstances. Because again, there is more expensive places in Mexico and there is less. There's pl places with, you know, hot climate and there's places with more moderate climate. For example, I prefer this kind of climate and the country is big with different region, with different infrastructure and with different cost of living and even mm -hmm. financial system, not the system would change, but Mexican states, they kind of different like American states. I mean, there is difference between states as we have in Canada, differences between provinces that all should be considered. And mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning about Mexico already for five years. I'm traveling, you know, every year I'm connecting with uh, many local professionals and I'm still learning. So don't do it alone. Do it with professionals. It's what I would advise everyone who considering a relocation, even part-time life abroad.